So I will now give a short introduction to the English course of Information, Science and Technology of the Graduate School. So the University of Tokyo, as you know, have been selected as one of the core universities of the Global 30 project. And one of the main missions of this Global 30 project is to foster English education at Japanese universities. And um, in order to achieve this goal, the University of Tokyo has decided to create several international programs and several Eng English courses in different areas of education. So here is uh, some uh, examples of the programs, the new programs, international programs. And um, so you can find here the English course in information, science in technology, and technology, which is the international program, the new international program of the Graduate School of Information, Science and Technology. And uh, this uh, new English course will uh, be launched in uh, academic year 2010, more precisely in the winter semester, so it will start in October 2010. And uh, the main mission, the main goal is to provide a curriculum to earn masters and doctoral degrees in English only. So with this new curriculum, foreign students will be able to get enough credit to graduate by taking only lectures in English. And they will be able to be supervised in English so they can get degrees through English only education. So, and uh, we use this opportunity of uh, creating the new English course to think again about the internationalization of the graduate school, and we decided to launch a new homepage. So, the current homepage of uh, the graduate school is basically a translation of the Japanese homepage, and um, we decided to create a new homepage focusing also on international relations of the graduate school and uh, on uh, the needs of foreign students and uh, foreign prospective students. So besides the usual contents, which is a presentation of the graduate school and the presentations of the six departments of the graduate school, we plan to include uh, several new corners, such that um, corners about voices of um, articles by uh, foreign students in the university, in the graduate school, and uh, corner presenting uh, international activities and cu cultural activities of the graduate school, and um, another uh, corner here presenting a practical application that the, that the foreign students are usually interested in, such, that, such as how to apply information about entrance examinations, scholarship, and practical information about life in Japan. So, as presented by, already by Professor Hagia, this is the current um, status of uh, the education system for foreign students. So the point is that at this point, most of the lecture are in Japanese. Of course, uh, foreign students can write reports in English and can give presentation in English, but the lecture themselves are in Japanese, so they need some uh, proficiency in the English, in the Japanese language in order to understand the courses. But, um, and so usually the students spend the one half a year or one year before taking the entrance examination uh, learning uh, the Japanese language. And uh, with this new program, the new English course of the of the graduate school, um, all the lectures will be provided in, a, in a, well, new lectures will be provided in, a, in English. So uh, the, the requirement uh, for um, job prof proficiency in Japanese language will not uh, be uh, necessary anymore. And a foreign student can directly, after coming to Japan, directly take the entrance examination. So the entrance examination is in English, it's a written, written examination and an interview, and it is administrated by each department. And um, so the, the entrance examination itself is the same as for uh, other students, and successful applicants will be enrolled in this uh, English course. So, um, for this uh, new program, um, several new courses have been created or will be created in, uh, in October, from uh, October 2010. 
So um, you can see here uh, some of them. And um, the point is that um, they cover almost all the aspects of information, science and technology, and they will be uh, taught by faculties of the six departments of the graduate school. So uh, there will be courses about computer science, mathematical informatics, information physics and computing, information and communication engineering, mechanoinformatics, and creative informatics. So for example, uh, I will teach uh, one course about algorithmic aspect of communication and another one about introduction to quantum computation. So um, this uh, course is focused on um, basic, uh, basic graduate study courses, but there are some other courses about more advanced topics such as uh, introductions to leading age research. And we are very confident that um, foreign students enrolled in the program will find enough courses in English here in order to fulfill their interest. So now um, I will um, go back to the uh, entrance examination uh, matter. So as the Professor Aguilla said, um, up to this point, the written examination is basically, uh, it's a written examination in English, but it's a written examination. And written examination can be a little bit problematic because, uh, well, the educational background in information science and technology quite, can vary, vary quite a lot according to the country. So one option may be to try alternative way of selecting students, and one of uh, the candidates is the uh, AO-based examination. And um, actually, this AO-based uh, examination has been experimented in the Graduate School of Information, Science, and Technology from academic year 2005. So uh, this was uh, for the doctoral program and for students from uh, Beijing University. So the applicants were recommended by, based on a preliminary screening by Beijing University, and then they had to take an admission briefing and a special entrance exam, uh, basically a oral examination, so an interview. And so this is a snapshot of uh, the, uh, the entrance examination. So here we have uh, the room, I think, in the um, Hongo uh, campus of Tokyo University. And here, uh, this, the room projected in the screen is uh, the um, Beijing office of the University of Tokyo. So um, this uh, selection was uh, quite successful, and um, um, we plan to extend it to Tsinghua University from academic year 2010 as well. And uh, the University of Tokyo Special Scholarship for International Students is provided too for successful applicants. And you can see here that the number of, uh, of uh, foreign students enrolled in the graduate school through this uh, uh, AO-based uh, selection is uh, still small, but it is uh, stable. So um, one option maybe to try to further extend this AO-based examination in the future, but well, it is an, exam an entrance examination matter, so it's a very uh, delicate subject, but I think it's an option. And uh, maybe uh, we can talk again about uh, this uh, entrance examination uh, matter in the panel discussion at the end of this symposium. Okay, thank you. <laughs>